Hello, and welcome to Go Fund This, a podcast from Nerds Domain. In these episodes, we'll be talking to crowdfund project managers about their projects and what excites them. Come listen as we talk about the passion they have for their project. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Go Fund This. This week, I'm here with Chris Spurgeon of Five Year Mission. Hi, Chris. Hi. Um, and we're going to talk about your Kickstarter for the Five Year Mission newest album called Spock's Brain. Yes. Um, so... Before we get into the Kickstarter and get in the meat of that, there are two really important questions that if you don't answer, then we, we throw you off the ship. Okay. Um, so, number one... I hope in, I get them right. Well, yeah, it's they're tough. Uh, <laughs> in, in the impending zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. How about... I'm going to have to go with machete, and here's why. Okay. Because it's super portable, it doesn't run out of gas. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's it's hard to lose. I mean, you, know, you can you can holster it and keep it. Yeah, I don't okay. know. Yeah, no, that's perfect. I, I think, and you know, it's utility. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna have yeah. to go with that. Right on. Uh, so second question this should be a little easier. Given all the sci-fi that you know, mm-hmm. and you know a little bit about sci-fi, right? Yeah, um, a little bit. What planet do you most want to visit? Risa. Okay. Yeah, it's a good answer. Obviously, it's a great answer. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, almost <laughs> lost your Star Trek I know. cred. Man, that'd be bad. I know. Um, so let, let's talk real quick about what kind of the band is, because you guys have been around for a few years, and yep. uh, what you guys do, and then we'll talk about the Kickstarter. So it's five-year mission. What do you guys, what, What's the band all about? Uh, the whole premise behind the band is to write one song for every episode of the original series, Star Trek. Um, we have kind of diverted here and there as we had our Tribbles album, which was each member of the band writing one song about the one episode. Okay. And with Spock's Brain, we're doing the same thing, but it, <clears throat> it expanded into writing two songs each for Spock's Brain. Um, that was never the intent. <laughs> it just kind of happened that way. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, when we're done, we'll have five... Uh, five albums, each with 16 uh, songs out of the eight, 80 total, and plus the the one EP, the Spock Brain album, and whatever we do in between four and okay. five. Okay, okay. So that's that's kind of the the whole thing. Um, so you, you've got four albums out now. Year one, two, and three, and then Trouble with Tribbles. Correct. Okay. And Spock Brain will be your fifth. Right. All right. Um, so tell me about the band. Uh, what, what do you do? Who else is in it? What do they do? Okay, well, there's uh, myself, Chris Spurgeon. I, uh, it's, well, let me introduce everybody first. Yeah, sure, there's, go for it. Yeah, yeah, myself, yeah. Uh, Noah Butler, Mike Rittenhouse, uh, Patrick O'Connor, and Andy Fark. Okay. And um, Andy is our drummer. He plays percussion exclusively, except for on um, a couple of the songs that he writes, he sings. Okay. And usually on, on the recordings, Andy will play the percussion. But when uh, when we play it live, which is very infrequent, <laughs> we play Andy's songs live. Mike takes over on drums. Okay. And the rest of us just kind of fall in where we can. Okay. So, for example, uh, there's four of us each writing songs. So if I write a song, I play guitar, I play rhythm guitar typically, and then and I sing, and everybody else falls in on bass. The uh, lead guitar and keys and that's what happens with everybody i think we have one song now on spock's brain where noah it, the song came out of a pretty much uh off the cuff jam that we did in okay. in uh, in practice you know somebody started i think i started on the keys and i just started i was just kind of noodling and then andy came in on the drums and then everybody kind of fell in and noah happened to be on the bass at the time and uh so in the reco- on the recording he plays bass and when we play it live in the, in the in our practice space Noah plays bass but he actually took that and created a song out of it for the album and wrote the lyrics and he sings so it's the one song that we have that someone plays bass and sings okay at the okay. same time I don't know if that'll ever happen again but <laughs> I, we have a we have another song on uh, I think it's on year two I can't remember Operation Annihilate. And Mike actually plays piano on that one, but we've never played it live. Okay. So, if we were to, I think Mike would probably play it, play the piano. But who knows? 
So I should just make sure that we hold a convention big enough to, to afford you and yeah. then request that song. There you go. And we'll find out. That that sounds like a plan. Yeah. Um, so tell us about your Kickstarter for Spock's Brain. This is, this is your fifth album. What what all are you doing with it? What what all's involved? Um, this is actually the second Kickstarter that we've done, and we learned um, we learned a couple things from the first time. Uh, one is that. All good, all good. In, despite all good intentions, it's really hard to get all the rewards out within a month. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, which there, are, there are intangible rewards. Things like uh, on the last one we did a photo shoot, and we have one fan who still hasn't gotten her photo shoot from the first. Oh wow! Okay. And she, she, uh, she, she's. I mean, she's. She understands. You know. Yeah. These things happen. But um, it's just scheduling, you know, that kind of thing. Everything else we, we managed to um, fulfill from the first Kickstarter. But we left that one out from the second Kickstarter because it's just really hard to do. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to get all five of us together for, you know, and get a photographer and, and you know, do that effectively. The, uh, we're, but, we're, you know, we're, we held on to things like um, <clears throat> the, uh, uh, the video. The, being an extra in the video, that was a really popular one the first time around, and it's been really popular this time around. Right on. Um, and then we did a couple things that we had done the first time that weren't real popular. We didn't, nobody, uh, nobody jumped on to those, that, but we wanted to see if people would this time, and they actually did. So we, <clears throat> one was uh, the five-year mission do-over, where someone gets to they. Um, choose any song that we've already done, any episode we've already done, and we have to do it again. Okay. We've got a new song for it. Right on. So we're think we're kind of excited about that because it gives us a chance to revisit, you know, something that we've done before and do it in a different way. Um, I think another one that, that uh, someone's already jumped on is uh, just writing a song on any topic. You know, we've yeah. done, uh, you know, we did our song for George Takei. That was a little diversion. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it's it's just you know another 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 way to to write something a little different than we usually write. So um, this time we're gonna we uh, we benefit from having done this before um, because the people who gave us money before and kind of know know the drill and so starting off it, it worked out pretty well. You know yeah. we got a lot of return customers, a lot of you know fans who came back and had to, you know were anticipating the thing so it's been really successful so far and um, another thing we did differently this year, this time is that before we had stretch goals but we didn't have any incentives to go along with them mm-hmm. so you know we said we want to reprint year one I think was the first one we did and um, yay for us but you know yeah. if we get there nobody else got anything yeah so this time we're, you know, we want to reprint year two, and we actually we've reached that stretch goal already. Mm-hmm. And uh, the benefit of that is that every bo- we're we're designing a uh, an exclusive Kickstarter button. We won't be selling it outside of the of Kickstarter. Yeah. And um, we're working on that design. We are actually <laughs> talking about that just today. Um, and so that you know everybody gets that now. And uh, if we reach our second stretch goal, we're going to release some demos, which we've never done before. So that's kind of a big deal for okay. us. Cool. And uh, I know there are a lot of our fans that are really excited about that because the the difference. I mean, nobody knows this except for maybe a few select individuals. But we we do our the difference between our our demos and our the final product can go. F- Anywhere from wow, that's super different to wow, that's almost the same. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it's it, but it's definitely a, a a different experience with the song. So it's it's kind of fun to share that. So yeah, we're we're, yeah. Like, we're looking forward to being able to do that. Hopefully, we will be able to do that. <laughs> Excellent, that'd be great. Uh, so you guys have funded pretty quickly. You're at like four thousand. You don't, you only were right. asking for a thousand. Uh, our our initial goal was fifteen hundred, and that covers uh, pressing a thousand copies of the album plus mastering. Okay. Um, and it gives us a little leftover for, you know, the Kickstarter fees and incidentals. Okay. Um, and then uh, we reached the goal in about under 90 minutes. It okay. Was just wow. over an hour, just under an hour and a half. Um, and then, which we were really excited about that. So uh, we weren't, I think we were all pretty confident when we, that we would get funded. It was, but it's exciting to 
for it to actually happen so fast. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. And then within 24 hours, we were we had reached our first stretch goal, which was at 3,000, I believe. Uh, no, yeah, 3,000, which gave us the ability to reprint year two. Yeah. Um, and now we're looking, uh, the next stretch goal is 5,000, which will um, allow us to get a trailer, which would be awesome. Yeah. Because right now we throw as much stuff as we can into Noah's truck, and you know then we have... A few things in Patrick's car, a few things in my car, yeah, and yeah. Andy's drums in his car, and yeah. so it's... It'd it, be nice to just have a trailer to it, back up and load. It would be yeah. really nice, and yeah. we, we've rented trailers before, but it would just be more cost-effective and just handy to have our own, so we're, we're hoping to get that. And then our final stretch uh, currently, I think it is, I want to say 7,000? Yeah, it's 7,000. Yeah, 7,000, and that's... Just so we can get equipment, you know, we really want some stage lights. Um, we have some shows we play where it gets kind of dark. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be yeah. nice to have our own stage lights. And we've had them before. We've rented them before, and it works out really well. Um, and just you know, other band incidentals, you know, things, oh, yeah, that, yeah. equipment, just and stuff that happens. Yeah. yeah, we just we. It seems like we always have thing, you know, strings or whatever. There's always something we need to buy. Yeah. So well, it's, it's just nice to have that extra. It looks like you have a ton of different levels. Like, there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, for, we do. What forty five dollars? We can get the whole discography that mm-hmm. you guys have put out, yep. including the new album. Um, you have an exclusive T-shirt you guys haven't previewed yet. We haven't seen what that looks like, but it's exclusive yeah. to this, and you only have it for the Kickstarter. Right. That's it. Yeah, we did that for year one, or uh, sorry, the last Kickstarter um, when we did uh, year three, mm-hmm. and uh, we had really we had a lot of positive feedback on that shirt design. And um, we may actually take that design and alter it and sell it eventually. Okay. But it won't it won't be the same as Kickstarter, right. the Kickstarter shirt. And uh, we are just like the button. We're currently working on the design for the for the shirt for this one. Yeah. And um, we the the one thing we like to try to do is just make it unique, um, make it interesting and fun, so that you know everybody you, you're getting a shirt that's. You know, you can say, "Hey, this is exclusive, and it's pretty cool." Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and we 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 have a lot of levels. A lot of that is just diversifying between the albums because we know some people have, you know, maybe just year two or just year three or whatever. Yeah. So we wanted to make it, you know, if somebody wants to get the new album and wants to get another album, there's a level for that. If someone wants to get all the albums, or there's a level for that. So we wanted to make it just a lot. We wanted to have a lot of choices. Yeah, absolutely. Available. And it looks like you guys have a ton. We we can learn. Uh, we can get lessons from you guys. Yeah, yeah. We and I, that's that's one that no one uh, no one got got into last time, and we were kind of disappointed because it's it's basically you get you get us on Skype. Okay. Um, maybe probably one or two of us, probably not the whole band, but you get a couple of us at least, and we'll teach you how to play one of our songs. You know, any, whatever song you want on, right you know, the instrument that you want. So it's, you cool. know, you can if it's keys, you know, keys aren't generally the main instrument. So you know, we'll play along the guitar and show you what you know what chords to play or whatever. Right. Well, cool. So it just gives us a, a we we like interacting with our fans. We don't get that kind of interaction very often, so it's kind of nice to have to be able to offer that. Uh, and then it looks like we can buy you as friends for about a thousand dollars for a night. That's true. It sounds like a great idea, <laughs> but but you'll go around as as the entourage. Uh, yeah, well, that, it's kind of awesome. We have um, the, the thing we we like hanging out with with fans and, and our friends, and we get to do that sometimes at conventions. But usually we're so busy, you know, we yeah. have we have you know, load in, load out, pack up, whatever. It's hard to get us all in the same place at the same time, other than at shows. Yeah. So this gives you know this gives the opportunity to to buy our time basically and have us all there um you know just hanging out and having a good time and and when we when we talk about doing these things we are very adamant um about saying look you know we're not just gonna like say hey you know let's go hang out with somebody we're gonna make it fun yeah yeah. um we'll even wear our uniforms if you want us to you know we just don't we just want to we want to make it worth the money that you've paid to to be able to you know do whatever you're you're giving us money for it. So I'm going to make you guys play seven hours of Artemis with me. That sounds like... Hey, I would be all about that. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a <laughs> terrible plan, does it? <laughs> yeah, that sounds perfect. Um, well, cool. So you guys have a lot of stuff going on, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of options to, for people to choose from, a we little do. bit of everything. Yeah. I think that's all great. Uh, you can get a lot of signed stuff. Uh, they'll write a song for, you'll write a song for their podcast, or, well, you'll sing their name. 
for the podcast, we, yeah. which is kind of awesome. Yeah. And they then you will write a full-on song just about anything geeky at yeah, a level. Will. And yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here, and it all looks really good. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, so, after this is your four, mm-hmm. and then something, and then your five. Right. We're not quite sure what's between yeah. those, but... We, we, we have all... It's, it's funny, because we have kind of these in-jokes... In which I can't really reveal because <laughs> the guys would kill me. But we have these in jokes where we're like, oh, yeah, you know, that album's going to be this. And then we laugh about it. And then we all kind of look at each other like, maybe it will be. <laughs> so Is that how Spock's brain started out? Spock's brain was good. Spock's brain began totally as the, the same way that, that uh, Tribbles did. Oh, yeah. We, we decided we had fun doing an EP, and it was a nice diversion. And so... You know, we, we said, okay, let's do this again. We did Tribbles before, and Spock's Brain is historically the, you know, the most infamous episode versus the most yeah. famous episode. Mm-hmm. So we decided to do that one. Yeah. And then uh, I had ri- uh, we just we all started writing, and when we when we chose episodes for year four, I chose Spock's Brain. Yeah. Which is exactly what that's exactly the same thing that happened to me for year three, and I was like, I don't want to have the episode we're writing. <laughs> writing this EP about. Yeah. Because then I ended up, <clears throat> what we did the first time is we had everybody vote and that song, the one they, they voted for went on year three. Well, this time we decided that we were going to actually just write another song for year four so there'd be, you know, five songs on the EP yeah. and then a brand new song on, on, on the album. So then Mike ended up trading with me. He finally relented because I was, <laughs> you know, bad. I was like, I don't want to do this. <clears throat> so he finally traded with me. And then I go home, and I write a song, and uh, it's it's RC Spock, which we played several times. Uh, yeah. We we called it Remote Controlled Spock for a long time, and uh, the story behind that is I I wanted Remote Controlled with an ED, everybody else wanted Remote Control without the ED, and so I said fine, it's RC Spock, and, right on. and that, that yeah. was the compromise. So we played that a lot, and then I decided I wanted to write a song about. I wanted to. I, I don't know where this idea came from, but I wrote a song in it, uh, the I Morg in the episode, okay. the the women. Yeah. Um, every single line in the song is directly from something they say. Okay. So every lyric in the song is directly from the episode, what they speak. And I just thought that would be. I just. I don't know. I just had this idea. I was like, well, I'm going to do this. If yeah. you guys like it, whatever. So I I, I showed them the song. And I'm like, we like this one even better. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm keeping remote-controlled Spock, you know. And then so the next thing I know, Noah's written a second song, and Mike's written a second song. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so it just kind of cascaded from there, and then everybody had a second song, and it just... So the idea was small, and it just it just grew. And it, I'm... I'm, we were listen. I mean, I've been listening to this constantly, and I'm really happy with the way it's sounding. So I'm glad we did it that way. Yeah. Um, you know, we were gonna maybe take my second song and, and have it like a separate release or something. So I'm really glad that everybody, right on. You know, decided to do the the second songs because I think that uh, I think people are really gonna dig them. I think they're really. I yeah, it's a the, really cool group of songs. You've got the the, <clears throat> the list of songs on the Kickstarter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a little bit of everything. Um, some stock, some uh, songs about Russia. Yeah, that <laughs> one's that one. That was the uh, the the song that came from the the studio, well, studio, the practice space jam, and that that's Noah's. And it's um, I when he f- I first heard that song, I was like, this is great. Where do you come up with this stuff? Because it's it's all from the perspective of um, it's you know how. In Spock's brain, the episode they they get to the planet and they they find the elevator and then yeah, you know like. Spock and Bones and Kirk, you know, the the, the A team goes down in the elevator yeah. and Chekhov is stuck on on the surface in the freezing cold with a bunch of red shirts. Yeah, and that's what the song's about. It's about Chekhov and his red right. shirts <laughs> right. on the planet. Right on. And so, you know, it's uh, no one. I don't think anybody's heard this yet besides us and you know our wives. So I'm really excited for people right. to hear that. I think people are going to like it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the whole album. Um, so you're here in Indy. Where can we where can we expect to see you this year? What conventions are you going to be hitting? Uh, let's see. We are talking. Um, we're in talks about Indie PopCon. We don't know that we've. I, I don't want to say one way or the other because we, yeah, don't, we don't know for sure yet. Um, we want to do we want to do Indie PopCon. Patrick wouldn't be able to do it because he's uh, he has a previous obligation, but. 
Um, we still want to do it, maybe do yeah. an acoustic show, uh, yeah. strip down, you know, kind of thing. Um, then we have our CD release. and Five-year mission on plug. Yeah, right. Yeah. We've done that before. <laughs> um, uh, then our CD release is on July 3rd. And then we don't have a whole lot booked this summer. Okay. Um, just scheduling conflicts here yeah, and there. Yeah. Uh, in August, we'll be in Vegas again. Um, we're not the house band this year. We're playing the after parties. There's okay. two after parties. Um, and then we're doing, uh, let's see. I'm not sure. I, I'm I, in survey I, I, I feel like we have something in October ish, but I'm not sure. That's and, fair. I mean, we, we, you know, we pick up shows here and there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We post them on our website. It, um, I just can't. I can't think of if we have any. I don't think we have anything real solid yet. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. But I, there's, yeah. there's been a lot of schedule conflicts lately, yeah. so we're we're trying to work around those. And, and well, and you guys are here in Indy, but you do a lot of regional stuff. You guys go up to Chicago. Yeah, right? we do. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so <clears throat> what? Since you talked about the website, it's uh, fiveyearmission.net with the number five, not the the word, right? The um for the website, you can do either one. Either one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and that'll take you there, and you can see the. I'll, you buy all your albums there. Yep. And check all that stuff out. Uh, yeah, all all the links to social media and you know things like Last FM and all the places where we are, okay. iTunes, all that stuff. It's it's all there. Right on, right on. And then you're on Twitter at Five Year Mission and Instagram at Five Year Mission with with the, the, number. the number five, correct? Um, and then Facebook, it's Five Year Mission with the word spelled out. Right, right. Um, yeah. So personally, I'm going to be backing at. Uh, level the level where i get all the albums because uh second set albums that i give away hey a thousand bucks and you can hang out with us all you know <laughs> I, you know i was thinking about that um that actually i was looking at this and considering making you guys do a next generation episode for the podcast uh, I, for there are four lights and you make know, you sell say I, that i believe um because we somebody bought I, I can't remember what level it is um to have us write a song about anything, yeah, and I believe uh, I may be I may not be right, but I believe it will be an Enterprise episode. Nice, nice. I don't Enterprise know has got some good stuff in it. Yeah, it's uh, got some terrible stuff in it too. Well, I, I see. I haven't seen Enterprise yet. <laughs> oh, you haven't. I'm oh. making my way through Voyager right now. I'm uh, season two of Voyager. Yeah, Voyager's a little rough, uh, but Enterprise has. It's, um, so far, I, I like Voyager. Okay, it's. I mean, I, I just. My la- the last series I did was Team Space Nine, and I loved it. Oh, yeah. So, I- I'm you know Voyager has been entertaining. Yeah. Um, nothing. I-, I don't know. Nothing real outstanding yet, but I'm not like. Yeah. You know, I've heard a lot of bad things about Voyager, and I don't. I ha- I haven't seen enough bad yet where I'm like I don't want to watch this. Yeah, yeah. You know, it it there's some stuff that's off. Not terrible, yeah. but then there are some really solid episodes, and one of their the best two parter episodes that they have, they retcon at the end of it. Oh, really? They go through this whole thing, and then they're like, uh, nah, "Never mind, that didn't happen." Oh, wow. Which that's really disappointing because it, it gave all this growth to characters, and you got to see all these things, and then uh, it doesn't matter. Um, but Enterprise has uh, a really really good mirror episode or mirror universe two parter. And uh, okay. unlike the rest of Enterprise, it has terrible, terrible intro music. Just the worst. It, oh, it yeah. is <laughs> like the the intro music for that one is like heavy military, like um, orchestral. Like it's just dirty and, yeah. and it's you know, really good. When we were in Vegas last year, we we had learned the theme song for for Enterprise. I'd never heard it because I hadn't seen Enterprise. <laughs> so I went to listen to it the, the first time, like. Really? Like I thought it. I thought it was a joke. Like I thought oh, no. it sounds like with some no. weird thing. I'm like, this sounds. It sounds like some you know 1990s Brian Adams song. Yeah, or it, yeah, it does. And so um, we played it, and uh, I, I may get the name wrong here, but we were playing it because the Enterprise, uh, the people from Enterprise were there, and we played them on and off with that. We were playing them off, and Anthony Montgomery is that? Right? Yeah, uh, it's, he, he's the the helmsman. Yeah, yeah. I believe he ran over and he was like singing it with us, oh, wow. and so it made it totally worth it. <laughs> right on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally that. worth na- worth learning that song. Yeah, that one's a, that one's a that's a different one. It is a different one. Um, yeah, yeah. It's I, confusing. I, I'm a huge fan of Enterprise, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Um, 
Yeah, well, that's great. Uh, so we can find you all those places now that we've mm-hmm. talked about Star Trek for yeah. a minute, because I'll do that all day. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you guys have been, you guys are going to be around. We can definitely check out any kind of tour dates and that kind of stuff. Shows, I guess. You don't go on tour necessarily right now. Right, yeah. Um, but any shows we can find on your website and then just come right. and hang out with the band, see them, and yeah. see what kind of great stuff you guys are playing, well, right? And something not everybody knows is if you go to our website, and we say it all the time, but... I don't know if anybody, everybody knows it, but you can listen to everything that we've released uh, already. You can listen to it on our website. Okay. You can yeah. just go there, choose an album, and you can listen to to all the music. So you wow. know, if you, if you see if you like it, see if you want to throw us a few bucks and get yourself a CD. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's how I decided we we were using we're using your song uh, "The Cage" right. for the intro to our uh, Star Trek uh, yeah. series because uh, it's. The intro that is very iconic and great, and it's perfect for the first song of the album of, yeah. of the band. Yeah. Really, so it's a great intro to the band. It is, um, but uh, that I, I bought all the albums, but then I was like, ah, I just need to listen through everything, and it was easy to just go in and click and click and click mm-hmm. and go through everything yep. that way. So, yep. yeah, um, we, yeah. we decided that. I mean, uh, we're not. We just, you know, we love writing. And, and, and playing the music, and our goal was not to make millions of dollars. You know, that's not, obviously if you're gonna, if that's your goal, you're not gonna yeah. write Star Trek music. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so we just want to, we just want to get the music out there, and if people like it, then hopefully they'll, you know, they'll support us, and yeah. and you know, for things like this, and, and yeah, know that you know, we're just a bunch of guys who. Wanna, you know, we love making music, and this is just fun for us. So. Right on. Yeah, well, cool. It's, it's a good time. Um, so you guys can head over to uh, Kickstarter and search for the Spock's Brain album. Um, that's, you know. It's, it's a Kickstarter you. staff pick, actually. It, oh, is it? Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, this, hey, this week. Yeah, you can't argue with that. Um, and, that, you know, there's a level for everybody. Um, there's a level for people that just want a cool local party. Uh, yep. 500 bucks, the band will come out and play and hang yep. out. and that actually is not that bad of a deal either. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's what we would generally charge for a private party anyway. Right on. Um, and then you know, there's, they'll, they'll write some songs and do some cool stuff and uh, pins and or um, yeah, pins and CDs and shirts and all kinds of stuff on yeah, there. All kinds of stuff. Right on. <laughs> um, and then uh, you know, uh, they'll def- definitely. I highly suggest checking it out. I'm I'm a fan of the band. And I'm very happy to to have had a chance to to have you on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and that'll do us tonight. We will talk to you guys real soon. This has been a production of the Omega Nerds Network, the network where it's on.